Hello everyone, uh, this is a quick video um, about uh, a recent upgrade to Windows 10. This is a Dell XPS 15 from late 2010. It's the model number 501X or L501X. Um, and it seems to be a common problem with these, on with, with uh, Dell and other manufacturers' trackpads in general, the trackpad problem where if we go to say all apps we try and do the scrolling the two fingered scrolling like that you can see the point has changed and i'm getting the uh, up and down arrows but it's not actually working um it took me a little while to figure this out but uh eh, not too long but i got there in the end um so i'm going to show you how to do this and hopefully it'll work for you if it doesn't it may be some a different set of uh, issues that you're having um so it worked for me it may not work for you but it's worth a go. However, with the uh, proviso that if anything does go horribly wrong, I'm not responsible, you do this at your own risk. So the first thing you need to do is get rid of the driver that Windows installed um, after the upgrade. What I did on this one is I did an upgrade and then I did a reset just to clear everything out because I wanted a clean install. So um, there's plenty of videos online how to do that. So um, the first thing I tried to do was to go into the, uh, the control panel um, into the settings app and under the um, apps and features try and remove the Synaptics uh, touchpad driver um, and what happens is uh, you immediately get an error message it doesn't work so that's uh, that's a bit of a fail so that's the first problem I ran into so the way to get around that is to right click on the start menu and then go to programs and features and then you'll see the familiar Windows 7 style uh, add and remove programs or programs and features dialog and just click on install here okay you'll be prompted again to confirm uh, that you want to do it um, so it says to close all programs and then restart so we will close all the programs and then we'll go to the start power restart and then once that comes back I'll show you which file to download and how to install it manually okay now Windows is rebooted I fired up the web browser and you go to this URL which I will post in the description and uh, scroll down unfortunately you'll have to scroll the old-fashioned way because obviously scrolling isn't working at the moment so use an arrow key and the one you want is this one synaptics touchpad 19.15.2 that's the one you want download that which I've already done um, and just installing it normally doesn't actually work it doesn't install the driver properly so what you need to do at this point is run the file that you've downloaded and make sure you click the extract option so we will click extract we'll choose a folder where we want to put it so I'll put it in my downloads folder record and we'll create a folder called TP for touch oh, for touchpad and once it's extracted we should get a confirmation message hopefully yep there we go so that's finished so we'll close that and as you can see we've got this tp folder here and inside are lots and lots of files so browse into that folder into the x64 folder assuming that you are using windows 10 64 bit then highlight and copy this path the next step is to right click on the start menu select device manager go to mouse and other pointing devices and right click on the PS2 compatible mouse and select update driver software choose browse my computer for driver software choose the let me pick from a list of device drivers and then choose the uh, have disk option at this point 
paste in the path that you copied from earlier and click OK and select Dell Touch Pad. Click Next. It will say that this driver wasn't specific for your device, but ignore that message and continue anyway. It takes a, a minute, a, a few seconds or so to do this. And then it confirms that the driver has been installed. So click close and you'll be prompted to restart your machine. So we'll restart and I'll come back once that's done. Okay, so now the machine's rebooted. We'll go down to our start menu. We'll select all apps and then we'll try the two finger scrolling. So, hey, hey, here we go. Two finger scrolling is working. Now let's try that in, say, the Edge browser. So let's pick a, there you go, that's working. So we can go to, say, YouTube. Oops, spell it correctly. That should be enough. So there's YouTube. And uh, once the computer decides to catch up, we should have scrolling, which we do. So there you go. If that helps you, give the video a thumbs up. Um, by all means, you don't have to, it's up to you. But hopefully you found this useful. If you do have any other suggestions, please post them in the comments. As uh, people do find this sort of thing useful, I hope. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.